That was a bit loud. Um, I hope you didn't hear that. Hello, Facebookers. Hello, health seekers. This is Chris Pickard, Director of Body Imbalance in Brookmans Park in Hertfordshire. What do we do? We get people out of pain and we show them how to get well again and stay well. That is the main thing that we do. My passion, however, is the prevention of disease. Why? It's because most of the things that kill people in the West and send them into the NHS are completely preventable by proper lifestyle choices. And the same things that prevent and treat back pain are the same things that treat and prevent cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and yes, the UK's biggest killer, dementia. It's all linked together, lifestyle. And that's what my passion is, it's teaching lifestyle, healthy lifestyle. And this week we are talking about exercise. The best thing in the world for decreasing stress. It helps flush out the mind, it helps stimulate the mind. It's great for your organs, it's great for your cardiovascular system, it burns energy, it burns fat. It's great for your immune system. There's basically nothing that exercise can't do. Apart from it can't grow limbs back, there we go. So, yesterday I spoke about one of the things that exercise both boosts if you do moderate amounts, which is glutathione, and it's one of the reasons it's so incredibly healthy for you. And the second, th and, the, and the other reason the glutathione, the other problem is that when you exercise too much, you deplete glutathione, which is why so many people hit walls with a supposed healthy diet and lots of exercise, and then suddenly they get ill and everyone's going, why are they ill? And it's because they didn't get their nutrition to the level of their exercise, and that is key. Which brings me to the second thing. Now, if those of you that are in My365, um, then you already know this part, um, because I covered it yesterday. Those of you not, or who missed it, or who wanted a bit more, here we go. So, the next thing to really be aware of is acid alkali balance, or rather, your acid buffering system. A lot of you have heard about the alkaline diet and alkalizing, and then a lot of skeptics say, oh, you can't over-alkalize the body because it's dangerous, and, and they're right, but they're getting the wrong end of the stick about what the alkalizing diet is all about, as are most people following and trying to alkalize their bodies. They're getting it wrong. They're not understanding what's really happening. So, this is what's really happening. Um, let me just write the keywords for yesterday. So that was glutathione. There we go. And today we're talking about acid alkali buffering. Okay. So what happens? Oh, I'm going to draw really badly here. So there's a nose and there's a mouth and there's a person with an ear. Okay. So what happens? when you put stuff in here. That's tiny, isn't it? Food. Food. And I've got to draw backwards for you. Food or drink. Okay. What happens when you put food or drink in here? Well, you see, you can have something like lemon, okay, which is a citrus fruit and it's acidic. And so in here it's acidic, it goes down into your stomach, that's still an acid as well, okay? And then it gets broken down in your body, and it gets broken down into what's called an alkaline ash. And it's actually, so nearly all fruits and vegetables, even if they're citrusy and acidic, once they've broken down in the body, they're alkalizing. So people with a lot of acid stomach, and yes, acid foods like fruits and vegetables will upset it, but if once it's digested, it's alkalizing. And then you have things like milk, okay? Milk, which when it goes in here, it's alkaline, okay? And it comes down here and it calms down and negates the acid in your stomach. But then it gets broken down into acid residues. Um, so that's not very good, is it? 
that's not really good. Then you have a lot of things like red meats and fish and things. A lot of that will get broken down into some acid, something like that. But when you get something amazing, oh, I'm not writing backwards, am I? Like liver, okay? Liver is so high in B vitamins that it actually breaks down things like lactic acid and other acids. And so liver um, and some other things are net alkalizing. And then you have another common practice, which is putting bicarbonate of soda in here. Okay, bicarbonate of soda, yes, we have a bicarbonate of soda system in our body. We have a bicarbonate system that helps us buffer too much acidity because a lot of the things we're doing, stress causes acid. Eating too many of the wrong foods, acid, fatty acids, too many of the wrong fats, sugar, acid. Okay, and so our body buffer these buffers these with our bicarbonate system. But by, by putting bicarbonate of soda in, all you're really doing is you're decreasing your ability to create acid in your stomach um, and not absorbing foods properly. And whether or not it has an actual effect on your alkalinity, I don't know. If you injected it straight into your bloodstream, great. Um, but don't, please don't do that because that would be really, really stupid because your blood has to be at a perfect pH. And this is what it's really all about. It's about balance. Most people are doing lots of things that are acid forming, but your body buffers this with a response, which is why when you have a lemon drink, okay, because it's acid all here, your body responds by producing very alkaline saliva, very alkaline saliva. And if it's not producing alkaline saliva, then you really need to get a lot more alkalizing things that have massive alkalizing effects. And lemon isn't going to do it, really. Lemon hardly alkalizes, like a bit of lemon, a lemon drink hardly has an alkalizing effect. A piece of fruit hardly has an al alkalizing effect. You're not lots and lots of greens, really. That's the best thing because they're full of magnesium, which is one of the most important buffering elements um, for acids in the body. Um, liver. B vitamins, very acid buffering. Um, my preferred thing is just lots and lots of greens. And so one of the tests I do, and I'll put a link to the test, is the acid buffering test, which you basically, you check your saliva in the morning, then you have a lemon drink, it will be acidic almost immediately, and then it should, after a minute or two, become, your saliva should become very much more alkalized. If it's not, you really need to feed lots of alkalizing things into your body. Now, of course, it doesn't actually really matter what you eat. You, I mean, unless you're eating sulfuric acid, you're not actually going to make yourself that much more acidic um, because there are so many other things, like in red meats, there's lots of B vitamins which buffer the acidity a bit later on, all these things that happen. Um, but you are putting stress on your body if you're never putting enough alkalizing stuff in. Almonds are another good alkalizer. So what... Can you, what, what's this got to do with exercise? Well, exercise, for those of you that are watching My365 yesterday, exercise is by far the most acidic and acidifying thing that you're going to do to your body. More than 20 minutes of exercise, you will produce so much lactic acid and you'll create so many stresses and strains on your body. I mean, you could be eating steak all day long that's from a non-grass-fed, GMO-ridden cow Okay, and you can be washing it down with pints of horrible milk um, and loads of other acid forming foods and you will not have the same acidifying effect as going out and exercising, which is very healthy for you. Very healthy for you. But if you're exercising, exercising, exercising and you're not putting in the alkalizing buffers all the time, you are going to run into troubles. Your body is going to basically burn up all of its bicarbonate system. It's going to burn up all of its acid buffering systems like magnesium which is why one of the best things to have after you exercise is greens don't worry about whey protein so much unless you're you know a bodybuilder or you have you're really not eating enough protein um, the best thing after exercise is greens 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 with no sugar in um, and as little else as possible maybe a little bit of sea salt half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sea salt with some greens after your workout. Fantastic, massively hydrating, and it will help really buffer the acidity of exercise. And 
the test, the acid buffering test is a great way to see, you know, it may explain why you feel so rubbish after exercise and why it takes you so long to recover because you haven't got enough acid buffering happening. Okay, so that is it for the main part of today's broadcast. Two more bits though, okay. The other massive alkalizer that I use, those in my 365 is, of course, the Ganoderma. Oh, I've already drunk mine. There you go, gone. Um, my Ganoderma coffee. The Ganoderma has all kinds of massively beneficial effects to the entire system. The other thing that I forgot to mention in the broadcast was that I am doing a webinar on Thursday night on the whole of the Magnificent Seven. The whole of the Magnificent Seven so that I'm going to put lots of information all in one place and I'm going to talk about the four horsemen of your health apocalypse, the four major stressors in our life, stress being one of them, um, and then the seven, Magnificent Seven, to combat it all. And at the end of it, I'm going to speak about something that I'm, I don't know whether there's a need for it or not, but it's something I'm thinking of doing um, and offering to people that those that need it um, but I don't know if there's a need for it so tune in um, with the broadcast with the webinar um, if you've got my email fantastic otherwise I'm gonna well I'll put a link to the broad I'll put a link to the webinar with this video in a moment anyway so you, if you want to you can sign up yes everyone there will be a replay you don't have to be on it live and I might even try doing something a bit funky with the webinar once I've actually got it recorded. Okay, all right everyone, live long and prosper. And remember as ever, please share this video with people, share this with personal trainers because this test, the acid buffering test, is will be such an amazing tool for personal trainers to use with their clients. It really will massively help them get their clients, well, healthier. Be well.